Okay, sixth grade, lesson 59. This is adding mixed numbers. Now, we have learned to add fractions with different denominators. Now you're going to learn how to do mixed numbers with different denominators. It's really not that much different. You just add a whole number to it. Okay, so watch this. Two and a half <laughs> plus one and one six. Now, what's wrong with this problem? Uh, there are different denominators. There are. And you can't, you can't add when there's different denominators. You've learned to do fractions with different denominators, but not mixed numbers. Okay. Which is not that much different. Okay, so let's just review. So what would I do? You would try to make them the same. And okay. What would you be could good? Tr try to change two to six. Okay. So let's change it to six. Okay. We don't have to do anything to this one because it's already has yeah. a six. So let's just go in and put one and one six. Okay. Two and one half. We're going to change this two to a six. How do I do that? Two times three. Times three gave me six. So times three, three. up here gives me three. So I'm going to erase this. And just bring my two over and so that just gets rid of that okay so now we just have two and three six plus one and one six so let's add our fraction part up first three plus one is four six two plus one is three okay i can say that's the final answer but what do we always have to remember to do reduce reduce two will go into four uh, two times two will go into six three times three times final answer is three and two thirds Let's do one more just in case. <clears throat> Write this one down on your paper. Okay. One and a half plus mm -hmm. two and two thirds. Okay. What would be a good idea on this one to do? Um, what just would make up another number, I guess. Okay, what would be a good number for both two and three to go into? Maybe six? Six would be a good one. So let's do that. Six, six. Okay, from, get from three to six, what did I have to do? Huh? To get from three to six, what do I need to do? Uh, that would have been three times two. Good. So we have to do that to the top as well. And so that's going to give me four six. Did you get that? Mm-hmm. Okay. What about this one? To get from two to six on this next one, it would be two times three. Okay. So what we do at the bottom, we have to do at the top. One times three is three. So you should have gotten three six and four six. So I'm going to erase all this and slide it over the one and the two. Okay, we're supposed to add these. So that becomes my whole new problem. It is easier to do it on a board because you can just erase it when I slid everything over. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Three plus four is seven, and six is my denominator, and two plus one is three. But what is wrong with this? It's improper. It's improper. So what do I need to do with this portion? Uh, divide it. Okay, so I could do seven divided by six. Six goes into seven one time. And I get one and one six. So this seven six is really one and one six. So what's gonna be our final answer? Uh four and one six. Very good. So we add this three plus this one and one six. So that would be four and one six. Final answer. That is lesson fifty-nine.